After a creature makes a dex save from Wall of Fire, does it end up inside or outside the ring? Let's say a wizard casts Wall of Fire in the ring shape, choosing the inside of the wall as the side that does damage. An enemy is in one of the squares on the edge of the ring i.e. one of the eight squares on the outside of the template for a 20 feet diameter circle, and not the four inner squares. Therefore, the enemy must make a dex save and might take 5d8 damage. If it makes the save, is it inside the ring? If it fails the save, is it inside the ring? Here is a good reference for the way the damage works. https colon slash slash rpg dot stacklexchange.com slash questions slash four seven nine six six slash ring dash wall dash of dash fire dash how dash does dash the dash damage dash sequence dash go. Creatures do not move when making a saving throw against Wall of Fire. The Wall of Fire spell states when the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a dexterity saving throw. On a failed save, a creature takes 5d8 fire damage, or half as much damage on a successful save. One thing we know is that spells do only what they say they do and Wall of Fire does not say that creatures move after attempting succeeding or failing its saving throw. Thus they do not move. This works out this way because I would interpret within its area to mean that the creature must actually be inside the fire part of the wall. This is because that phrase applies regardless of the shape of the wall, and to be within the area of, say, a line, could not mean anything but to be directly on, inside said line. Thus a creature only makes this initial save if it is on the circle and not if it is inside the circle, the four central squares. That all said this results in a somewhat odd shape for the ringed wall of fire, which I asked about in a different question, and I'd probably recommend just making the ringed wall into a square shape instead of a square but missing the corners.